seven. Mets up four three. Bases loaded for Jose Reyes. Hits it up the middle. Base hit Ty Wigginton and Jason Phillips will score. Make it a six three game. So top of the eighth. Mets are now up six to four. One on and here is Armando. We flash back to Monday night facing Jose Vidro. Gets him to fly out to Timo Perez with no damage. Back to tonight. Maybe Vidro learned something from that AB. I think he did. Get out of town and say goodbye to that victory. Game tied at six. Bottom of the ninth. Still six all. Two on Tony Clark. Base hit down the line. Joe McEwing comes in to score. And despite Benitez, the Mets win anyway. Seven to six. To Atlanta now. Expos and Braves. Top second one up in Expos. Michael Barrett. You know what? I don't think that's enough. Two run shot for him. That's off Shane Reynolds. Number six in the year for Barrett. And it's three nothing. Expos. Bottom eight now. Five to one. Expos. And here come the Braves. Gary Sheffield. Addle drop for a base hit. Rafael for call and Marcus Giles coming around. Braves down two now. 5-3. Julio Magnon comes in to face Sheffield with two on and two out in the ninth. Braves down one. First pitch. Sheffield likes it. Gets under it a little bit too much, though. And the Expos hang on to get the win. 5-4, the final. Next. Sorry, Montreal at Atlanta. Tomooka won his last three starts, but he's one in four career against Atlanta, so he tries some jumping jacks to change his luck and get the mud off his cleats. Expos 4-0 at the Braves' yard this season, but down 4-2, and Rafael for call knocks in Vinny Castilla. Braves, who had lost three straight homers, are down 4-3. Bottom six, still a one-run game. Two on for Castilla, who lays down the sack bunt. That advances Robert Fick to third, and Javi Lopez to second. Castilla's last sack bunt came during the Miller Fillmore administration. Next batter, pinch hitter, Matt Franco. Base hit, and that's it for Oka. Fick, former Hawaii Winter League, scores. Game tied at four. Winter League. Still in the six. Base is filled for Chipper Jones. He entered this game one for 17. No ribs, no runs in his last five games. Takes the ball from T.J. Tucker. Pitching coach says, give me a lefty. Joey Eichen in. Chipper switches sides and changes his luck. Singles to right. Two score. Braves go on to win 8-6. Andrew Jones, no relation to Chipper, but a Brave. Had four hits, including a homer for his... Montreal at Atlanta. We're going to go to the bottom of the ninth. It's 2 1 Expos. They're 4 and 1 at the Braves' yards this season. Rocky Biddle in to finish this one off. And one on, one out. Robert Fick grounds into what should have been the game ending double play, but Orlando Cabrera has lost that glove and feeling. Cabrera hit a homer earlier. Gaff late keeps this game going. Went right under his glove. Biddle goes from the save to save me. Javi Lopez. Bases loaded. Ouch. 2-2 in the pregame buffet. Not agreeing with Frank Robinson. More Maylox moments on the way. Full sacks, full count to Raphael for a call. He was down 0-2 in the count. That's called ball four. Walk off walk. Braves win it. 3-2. Expos have one top three scoreless runner on first, Mike Hampton. Will pick off Henry Mateo at second. But Hampton is called for a ball. Which brings Bobby Cox out to argue, which, you know, Bobby's like a prosecuting DA. He argues all the time. Watch it again. Hampton's foot supposed to go to first. You be the judge. Home plate umpire Phil Cuzzy calls Balk. Cox goes back to the dugout. What, isn't he supposed to get, like, tossed? He's Bobby Cox. Same at bat. Jeremy Carroll, hot shot to short for call can't handle. Mateo scores. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Here comes Bobby Cox. There Go you on, go. here you go. For the seventh time this year, Bobby gets run. Bottom three, Spose up three zip. Oh, boy. Mm. Chipper Jones. I'm sorry, Larry Chipper <laughs> Jones. 14th home run of the year, Braves down one. Bottom five, 4-3 Expos, bases loaded. Javi Lopez hitting wail, hitting 307 this year. That's his 51st RBI of the year. It scored two, bottom eight. What's up, Trick? Chipper again, second home run of the game, 15th of the year, 27th career multi-home run game. Braves win 7-5. Philly 
Coyotes have lost three straight after winning 13 to 16. Brandon Duckworth coming off a strong start. Strong again, no hit through three innings, but then two men on over the out. Brad Wilkerson opposite way. That's going to drop for a double. Orlando Cabrera would score to tie up this game at one. Next batter, Duckworth walks Will Cadera. Bags fold nobody out. Next batter, Ron Calloway takes his driver out, finds some space. Jose Vidra would score. Callaway one for four. He's hitting 253. It's 2 1 now. Next batter back. Full still nobody out. Brian Schneider. Schneids bloops it. Wilkerson and Codera would score. 4 1 Montreal. Schneider one for four. Those two RBI. Next batter, Duckworth. Oh, look who's up. Levon Hernandez. And Duckworth hits him in the shoulder. Hernandez and Duckworth exchanging words, glances, love. Well, maybe not the last part. Hernandez goes to first. Oops, oops. I told you. Oh, things, nice. things exchange. Bench is clear. No contact made, said Hernandez. I was mad because I didn't want to get hit on the elbow or in the face. Who would? Joe Kerrigan holds Duckworth back. Hernandez okay. Larry Boa out for the fifth time this season. Hernandez kept his focus, striking out Mike Lieberthal. Hernandez says, you know, you have to remain a pro. Keep your concentration. As Jim Tomey, one for four, and then Hernandez gets David Bell on the ground. Game over. Levon. 25th complete game. He scattered seven hits with a season-high 10 Ks. Phillies looking to break their four-game skid in Montreal. Larry Boa thrown out on Monday. Bottom second, two on, nobody out. Brett Myers get Will Cordero to ground out. Placido Polanco, nice turn for the DP. That's a top 10 nominee. Top five. Base is empty, one out, two on, fills Polanco. Solo homer, his seventh. Polanco, four for five, three runs scored. It's 3-1 Phillies. Brett Myers trying to win his four straight start. In the seventh, one on, one out. Jim Tomey gets the intentional pass from Claudio Vargas. Next up, Bobby Abreu. Says he was looking for a good pitch, and Vargas threw it. Abreu makes him pay for that intentional walk at Tomei. A three-run homer at 6-3 fills. Abreu's 13th. Top of the eight. Bags full two out. 8-4 now. Phil's exploding for five runs in the eighth. Mike Lieberthal, his third double of the game. Lieberthal with four RBI. The Phil's go on to win. Marlon Bird chipping in with three hits, three RBIs. Expos and Phil's back in Montreal. Oko with a no-hitter in the fifth. Todd Pratt up the middle, hits the mound. Jose Vidro with a top 10 nominee gets Pratt. Still no hits through five for Tomo Oka. Top six, Tomas Perez. Heads up. Oka avoids the lumber and makes the play. No hitter through six. We go to the seventh. Placido Polanco. Another bat gets loose. This is into the stands, and fans not giving it back. Canadian thing, I guess. Polanco gets a new bat. Down the line, Edwards Guzman. All right, Neil Everett, is that a hit or an error? It's an error. Guzman mishandles the transfer. Could go either way. It is scored. Dun -dun -dun -dun. A base hit. That's the Canadian exchange. Though. Flashback to June 29th. Okay, had a no-no in the seventh against the Blue Jays. Ball hit to guess who? Edwards Guzman on the other side, and he can't handle that one either. That one was ruled an error. Two batters later in that game, Carlos Delgado. When does he not hit a double? And that took care of Oka's no-no. So let's get back to Wednesday now. Next batter after Polanco. Bobby Abreu, and there goes the no-no big time. Two-run home run to right, his second in as many games. Oka allowed two runs on three hits in eight. Tough loss. The homer Abreu's 14th. Bottom eight, Edwards Guzman. This guy's killing him. 6-4-3 <laughs> to end the threat. Millwood a shutout, a three-hitter. Phils win 2-0. Lost four or seven games to the Expos this season. Don Trell Willis, good news about him in a bit. Bottom of the fourth, Brad Wilkerson facing Brad Penny. Two on, one out. Terry Crofts is Penny. Hit Wilkerson with that pitch. Even Wilkerson looks surprised. Penny, he's angry. Wilkerson gets to shake the face. We need another look on this one. I mean, we really do. Looks like the ball just misses hitting him in the elbow. But so much for replays. Umpires don't use him in baseball. Base is loaded. Next batter, Will Cordero with the bags full. Cordero, no doubt. His fourth career grand slam. Oh, you can imagine how uh, Mr. Penny feels now. It's 4-2. Can you imagine that, Steve? I'm, I'm imagining. All right, top of the six, same score. Mike Lowell facing Javier Vasquez. As for Lowell, things are looking up. His 27th home run of the year. It is now 4-3. Top of the ninth, same score. Todd Hollinsworth, your pinch hitter. And he's good in a pinch. Tie game. Derek Lee 
also went deep in this game. Still in the ninth, Juan Encarnacion up with a base hit. Luis Castillo would score. Marlins finding ways to win. Kenny allowed five hits in eight innings. He ends up winning his eighth. And how about the Marlins coming back to stun the Expos five to four? Jose Vidro, Redmond fourth in the NL and fewest homers allowed. Did I say that? Vidro, three run shot, his 11th of the year, Expos up 3 0. Top second, I went out, Levon Hernandez pitching to Derek Lee. Lee strikes out looking on the 3 2 pitch, but he thinks it's ball four. Now, my name is Stan, but you can call me Quest Tech. Take another look at it. Looks a little low, but Charlie Relliford rings him up. Top eight, Hernandez pitching to Mike Mordecai, and Hernandez strikes out Mordecai looking on what looks like the same pitch he threw to Lee. Hernandez struck out Mordecai three times. Top nine, Expos down 7-1. to one. Levon, Juan, and Carnacion. Levon, complete game, three hitters, six strikeouts, and the Expos win it 7-1. All-star Dontrell Willis on the bump as the Marlins finish the first half of Montreal. Gets 7-0 in his last nine starts, and Brad Wilkerson looking for the herky. Got the jerk and five innings pitch, six hits, two earned. Four Ks for Willis. Mike Lowell, that is far, just continues to add to his career-high home run total. Make it 28 now, make the Marlins up for zip. Top four, Britt Reams facing Louis Castillo, and Reams throws it high. Michael Barrett can't catch it, and Marty Foster did right in the mass. Trainer attends to Foster. He's hurt. Look at it again. Just bang. Out. Right in the mug. I umpired last year's All-Star game. Had to be taken off on a stretcher. Now, during this delay, Luis Castillo is informed that he's been added to the NL All-Star team, placing the injured Marcus Giles. Well done. He's congratulated there by teammates. Field of Colbert moves over from first base. He'll replace Foster behind the plate. Same inning. Doesn't have to call this. Von Rodriguez stroking it. Two-run double. Punch four for four. Three runs. Five runs. Lifts his average to an even 300 for the season. Marlins will win at 11-4. Willis improves to 9-1 on the season. The National League honorary captain, an 11-time All-Star and 2003 inductee into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Gary Carter. Batting ninth from the Montreal Expos, second baseman Jose Vidro. Hey, we showed you the ending. Here's how it started. Tomo Oka on the mound for the Expos. We're in the bottom of the second. Scoreless two on, two down. Tyler Houston lines one down the third baseline. That's an RBI single. Jimmy Rollins, no problem scoring. Pat Burke, well, he's not stopping. <laughs> if you're calling for him, leave a message at the beef. We'll call you when he gets home. Out at the plate. Burrow plows into Brian Schneider. Schneider able to hang on. Burrow initiating the contact on a night Pete Rose went on trial. A pretty good example of hustle right there. One nothing Phil. Top nine, tied at two. Real Cormier. Andy Chavez fooled by the curveball. Got his bat on the ball. Cormier the dive to make the play at the plate. Michael Barnett is thrown out. Cormier the dive with a flick to Lieberthal with his glove. Great play. Pitcher and catcher were fired up. Bottom 11 now. Still tied at two. Jason Michaels rips one to third. Jamie Carroll diving stop and the throw to get him. Three plays all over the place. Carroll, a good effort, but it only counts if you make the throw as well, and he does. Two batters later. Runners in the corners and two down for Marlin. Right in the deep left center field. This is a gapper, and the game is over. It's out of here. Three-run home run, Marlin Bird. A walk-off home run, and the Phillies win it five to two. Marlon Anderson is the only other Marlin in Major League Baseball history, and he never hit a walk-off home run. Montreal at Philadelphia. Phillies are 11 and 2 on Saturdays this season. That's a Major League factoid. Jim Tomei with the Major League shot in the bottom of the fourth. Came off LeVon Hernandez, who Tomei was just one for eight career against with four whiffs. Two batters later, Pat Burrell saddling up to the same bar and ordering a shot at Jack. His 13th, and this game is tied at three. Bottom eight, Joey Eichen replaced Hernandez. It's Tommy swinging like Glenn Miller. Follows that by getting Bobby Abreu swinging like Sammy Kay. Phillies have won their last five extra inning games. We go to the 11th. Jose Mesa strikes out Will Cordero. 
Brad Wilkerson, who earlier snapped an 0-for-18 streak, is back on the bad side of things. Bottom 11, two outs, bases are loaded for Tomas Perez against Hector Almonte. One man's pleasure is another man's pain. Uh, that's a top 10 nominee, a walk-off single, and then the fun started because, oh, this is part of the new celebration, the body <laughs> punch thing, and Perez, he's the team's practical joker. So he puts on a catcher's mask for the post-game interviews because he knows what's coming. Nine players pummel him with the shaving cream pie. It's all in good fun, and the Phillies win it for three. Expos Phillies, Ron Calloway in right field for the Expos. We think. <laughs> Bottom one scoreless, Jim Tomei raking to shallow right. Hello, Ron! Where are you? That one. <laughs> He's playing way back, no chance. Should have been out number three instead. Tomei on second with his 20th double of the year. Next batter, Bobby Abreu, straight raking. Abreu lines one off the first base bag. Tomei getting his hustle on, scores from second. Phillies one through four hitters, none of whom are hitting 300. When it combines six for 14. Top four, Brett Myers treating the Expos like dogs. Stay, sit. <laughs> 10 Ks and two and a third for Myers. And eight and two thirds for Myers. Bottom six, Abreu walked intentionally get to Pat Burrow. Now true, Burrow hitting just 195 this year, but yo, don't try and punk him. Cause he's two for two with the home run and five RBI when the preceding batter is intentionally walked. They asked for him and he punked him back. Phillies win, they also acquire all-star reliever. Vladimir Guerrero back after missing 39 games with a herniated disc facing Beckett in the first. Oh, Vlad the Impaler strikes out, but he was two for four. Look at Beckett's numbers. Seven innings, seven hits, struck out seven. Uh, that adds up to 21, his new number. Oh. Mike Lowell back after missing the Cubs series with a cancer scare. Bottom one is first at bat back. Base hit to center at scores a run. Lowell two for three. He said, I felt like I was back in the normal world. It's good to have him. Marlins win 4-1. Well, the Marlins hosting the Expos. Bottom six, Expos up one nothing. runner on second, Derek Lee. He's got the magic stick, number 21 on the year. Four RBIs in the game for Lee. In the seventh, 2-1 game, Vladimir Guerrero facing Carl Pavano. Oh, Guerrero is hit by Pavano, who would say later it just got away. Tama Oka, his first pitch goes inside to Pudge, and then, then he hits. Oka said it was an accident. Uh, both benches were warned cooler heads would prevail. Top of the ninth, 9-1 Marlins. Pavano facing Will Cordero. No contest. Pavano, a four-hitter, his third complete game of his career, a 9-1 romp. Mets and Expos, Jay Sow, coming in with an 0-4 record in his last five starts. Other than that, he was just peachy. Juan Callaway with a single, Brad Wilkerson and Brian Schneider scoring to make it 5-0 Montreal. Callaway goes to second on the throw. Time for a top 10 nominee with the Mets down five. Javier Vasquez facing Cliff Floyd. That's going off the wall. Jeff Duncan is going to score. Vlad Guerrero, you know he's got a gun, right? Well, let's watch it. Gunning out Floyd, trying to go to second. I mean, Cliff, you're limping as it is with one bad leg. Top 10 nominee. Great throw by Guerrero. Vasquez facing Duncan. Strikes him out. Vasquez, 157 Ks on the air. Second in the NL behind Kerry Wood. The Expos win. Vlad Guerrero off the DL Monday after missing 39 games with a herniated disc. 52 at-bat home run drought is over in the bottom of the second. Comes off Horatio Ramirez. Vlad's ninth of the year. We're tied at one. Top eight, Javi Lopez. Swinging a bat made from the wood of a tree felled by lightning. A three-run shot. His 28th, and the Braves are up 8-2, and it's the 8, so it's over. Bottom 8, 8-3. Eight, Brad Wilkerson, pop fly, and the, the Joneses with the communication issues. Chipper gets the E, his fifth of the year, and everybody's safe. Still in the 8, 8-4 eight, Braves. Two out, two on for Michael Barrett. Ray King's pitch. I know you know that ball is gonzo. Five runs in the eighth. It's a one-run game. Barrett's ninth of the year, bottom nine. Ron Callaway in for Guerrero. He was pulled because the game was over. Well, the game is over because John Smoltz is in, and the Braves are 56-0. One leading after eight. But Callaway to deep center, and Andrew Jones say hey, say not. Jose Vidro scores. He reached on an error, so it's an unearned run. We are tied at eight. Smoltz third, blowing save this season.
in 40 chances. Bottom 11, sacks filled, Young Bong's pitch to Jose Macias. It's wild, Henry Blanco can't make the play. Orlando Cabrera, who stole third, scores, and the Expos in 11, 9-8. Braves in Montreal to face the Expos. Braves 24 and 6 in day games. Now, 7 p.m. Eastern time start in Montreal isn't exactly a day game, but Zach Day was the starter for the Expos. So, okay, so it is a day game, and Braves will take it. They got on day very early. Top first, Javi Lopez, little blooper. Oh, but look at Vlad. Not sure what to do there. Ball goes all the way to the wall. Base is cleared. It's ruled a triple. Javi Lopez, a nine-game hit streak, batting 529 with 18 RBI. But let's take another look. Vlad having some issues. Not quite tall enough. Ball over his head and to the wall. Third triple of the season for Lopez. Top second, 5 nothing Braves. Gary Sheffield dialing long distance. Dave paid for the call. Number 25 on the year for Sheff. He was three for four, three runs, three RBI. Top six. Here he is again facing Eric Nodden. Off Knott's hand. Right to Orlando Cabrera, who throws it away. as Rafael for a call. Scores 7-3 Braves. Take a look at this. Not lucky he didn't take this one on his head. Braves going to win it 15 to 4. He left with a bruised finger. Posting the Braves, top one no score men on second, third for Gary Sheffield. Chops to Tomo Oka. Appears to have Marcus Giles in a rundown, but my bad. Ball goes into the outfield, two run score, two zip Braves. Same inning, man on for Robert Fick, and Fick was sick. Two run shot. He had two homers on the day. He has 10 for the season. He had his fourth career multi-homer game, 4-0 Braves. Second inning, Braves up 4-1. Man on second for Marcus Giles. Giles was on and cracking. That's his second double of the day. Braves busted 17 hits. Giles up again in the fifth inning. Come on, brother. Giles, fourth straight double. That ties a major league record. Braves up 8-4. But the Expos come back, bottom seven down, 8-7. Orlando Cabrera, y'all got to give me that. Lines one up the gap, two runs scored. The Spos had 14 hits. Combined, the teams had 31 hits in the game. That put the Expos up 9-8. Bottom eight, up 11-10. Cabrera, I'm feeling you again. Two-run shot, his 15th of the year. Cabrera had a career-high six RBI. Expos win it 13-10. Atlanta at Montreal, they've just been pounding the ball in the first three games of the four-game series. 33 runs, 52 hits, six homers. That's just for the Braves. 26 runs, 35 hits, eight homers for the Expos, but they've won two out of the first three. And after Sunday's game, Bobby Cox had some thoughts on Monday's games and, quote, you watch tomorrow, meaning Monday, we'll win a game like 2-1 or something like that. Marcus Giles, oh, he's been red hot, batting 422 against the Expos this season. Remember, he had four doubles Sunday. Top four Braves ahead, 2-1, one on. Giles, RBI single off Javier Vasquez. Rafael for call scores. Braves lead 3-1. 12 hits allowed by Vasquez, a career high. You want a high. How about this? Vlad off Mike Hampton. He's just three for 16 coming in. That's going out. Traveled an estimated 502 feet. Rick Sutcliffe, your thoughts. I have watched a lot of baseball games in this ballpark. That's as far as I've ever seen one hit. 153 meters for you meter freaks. Top six, 4-3 Braves. Giles up at the bases loaded. And call your granny. The grand slam, second of his career, 10th home run this season. Braves lead 8-3. Vlad again, bottom six, en français. C'est formidable, career number 220, team record 225 by Andre Dawson. For the record, Giles, it is hot. Joey Eichen deep for the home run, his second of the night. Giles, 13 for 20 in the four-game series, a career-high six RBI. John Smoltz, major league leading 37 saves, comes into the ninth, the base is loaded, 10-5. Let's make it 10-7, Orlando Cabrera, scoring Andy Chavez and Ron Calloway. Take another look, oh, just throw your bat at it. Next batter, Vlad. He's singling, Jose Macias scores, and now the lead is just two runs, and where are the Braves getting nervous? Well, what's M. Giles have to say? For the first time in my short career here, uh, I was actually a little bit nervous when Smoltz was on the hill in the ninth inning. Uh, no worries, bro. Next batter, Will Cordero and Smoltz. 
induces Cordero into a little double trouble. 5 4 3. Game over. Braves win another high scoring one. 10 8. Your final. Lewis in their first meeting this season. LeVon Hernandez mentioned possible trade talks with both the Red Birds and the Red Sox on the hill for Montreal. And here he gives up a fat one to Scott Rowland. Get Oot. 22nd, 72nd RBI. The cars lead at that point, one nothing. Top nine now. We skip right over, you know, three through eight. Albert Pujols on first for Tino Martinez. Vladimir Guerrero fields it. Pujols going to challenge that arm. Vlad fires. We know he's in there safe. Runners on first and third. Rolling again. Careful. Lines it to center. Andy Chavez. Andy Chavez is there. No chance to get Pujols. Tags and scores. The cards take the 2 1 lead. Into the ninth. Two out. Home half. Vlad Guerrero facing Garrett Stevenson. Somebody got in his game. Stevenson got it. Wins for the first time since June 17th. Good strike three. Cards win it. Two to one. Cards and Expos. Tony LaRusso's team in need, as you heard Peter Gammon say, some starting pitching. So here's some guys, perhaps, all the arms you could get. Von Hernandez right there in Montreal, 10 and 7. Jeff Supon, 10 and 7. Calvi Mascobar, 6 and 6. Sidney Ponson, 4. Everybody wants these four guys. We'll have to stick around and see who gets them by 4 o'clock on Thursday. Top first, 6 nothing. Dan Heron, the rookie pitcher, an RBI double off the left field wall. Mike Matheny scores his first big league RBI. Heron's up 7 nothing in this one before he has to go out and throw a pitch. Nothing like spotting yourself a few runs. Bottom second, Jose Vito rips it. Look at Bohart get on up. That makes a great play every night. Mad hops on defense. Bottom six, still 7 nothing. Heron gets Andy Chavez looking right down the middle of the plate. And the cards be all right if he keeps throwing like that. 11-1 Redbirds, seven innings pitch, no runs. A walk, three Ks for Heron. Cardinals in Montreal, Vladimir Guerrero climbing up the Expos all-time homer list. Let's flash back Monday, July 28th. That's all the way back then. Guerrero, 502-foot home run against the Braves. Just a monster. He would hit two that night to tie Gary Carter for second on the Expos all-time home run list. That would be Hall of Famer Gary Carter. Back to Thursday, bottom three, no score, Guerrero. Oh, are you kidding me? Off of Woody Williams, it's deep for a two-run homer. Guerrero now second on the Expos all-time homer list. 221 homers, surpassing Hall of Famer Gary Carter in an Expos.